Hi, my name is Michael, and I am about to give you a review on the Lord Hair S1V unit. Uh, the S1V unit is a poly thin skin. I've been wearing a, a Lord Hair unit for about a year and a half now. Usually I do the poly thin skin. Um, before Lord Hair, I was a hair club for men or a hair club uh, member. And there I always uh, had some sort of lace. It was either French lace or Swiss lace. Um, I switched to the Lord Hair because I was tired of paying almost $500 a month at Hair Club. Lord Hair is r considerably less. Um, the customer service is amazing. I can email them and get an uh, email response usually within 24 hours, if not 24 hours, definitely within a day and a half. Um, they are more than willing to give you advice, give you uh, any answers to questions you might have, suggestions on uh, products or base types, adhesive options, um, all sorts of stuff. So here is my S120 or S1V unit. Uh, before that I was using the S122, I think is what it was, the 0.03 millimeter. I switched to a thicker base just to try it out to see how I liked it. Uh, so here it is, and here are the supplies that I'm going to use to attach my hair. Here's, here's the S1V unit. Uh, you can see again, it is poly thin skin. Uh, there are my previous units from Lord Hair. Um, the big difference I noticed right off is this is the .08, and it does feel thicker. Um, I'm trying to know if that's going to be a good thing or not. Uh, I have Lord Hair. I have Lord Hair cut the base every time. I'm not comfortable doing it myself. For an extra 20 bucks, I'd rather have a professional do it versus me botching it. And then I also had Lord Hair do a haircut. Uh, it was offered free this month for Easter, so I'm going to try that out. Uh, normally I do pay $48 to go to a salon here in Kansas City, and they do cut it in for me. Uh, it looks great all the time. They give me a haircut as well. I do the attachment at home, but they do cut it in. These are some of the products that I use. Obviously a comb and a brush. I use 91% alcohol mostly to get the old unit off, but also clean the base of the new unit. I'm not sure if I need to do that, but I do that uh, just because I do attach 99% of the unit with tape. I use the Ultra Hold Mini Walker tapes. Um, it says up to four weeks and I get about three to four weeks with them, no problem at all. I use tape to attach the perimeter, which I will show you here in a minute. And then for the front, I use a water-based glue. It's called TDI. Um, it's worked very, very well for me. This bottle will last a year, year and a half, quite some time. Now back to me. You can see my hair is pretty long. I still need to definitely trim the top of my head. I'm going to clean up uh, my hair and I'll be back. All right, and I am back. I've given myself uh, a haircut, um, and I've shaved the top of my head down. I, uh, I use a, a regular razor for your face on the top of my head. For the sides, I use like a body groomer. Um, I would have used a regular haircut uh, clippers, but the Walmarts and Targets are out of those right now, so the body groomer worked well. Uh, I think it did, it looks okay. I also forgot to mention um, just another example of the great customer service that Lord Hair has. You know, even though I get my base uh, sizes cut down, I'm always wondering, you know, really where is my base? Where should I cut? You know, before I've cut too much, I've cut too less, and then I've got tape laying on hair. It doesn't really um, bond that well. So I asked Lord Hair to actually send me a template of the base that they cut, and they did. Here is that. Um, this shows me the, where the front is, where the back is, the right width, and, um, you know, I've only asked them to do this once. They didn't question it. They simply cut it and sent it to me. So I put that on my head, and I give me, it gives me an outline of where I need to shave my existing hair to make it work better. I've got the perimeter all taped up. Um, it used 10 uh, pieces of this. Again, this is Walker Ultra Hold Mini Tapes. Um, I'm going to take those off, going to uh, do a trial run on my head to see where my tip of the hairline needs to be. I already know where it does need to be, but I always like to do a dry run just so I'm not messing with it uh, and freaking out after I'm actually doing the attachment. Alright, now I'm getting ready to do my attachment. I have just wet down my hair a little bit with just regular water. I don't get the top of my head wet at all. 
with water at least. I do use 91% uh, alcohol. I spray on my scalp just before I do the attachment. Uh, a lot of people will tell you that you need to use a scalp sealer. I just don't use that. I've never have used one. I don't know how well they work. I'm just telling you about my experience and what works well for me. I also spray down the unit itself. Just a couple quick sprays on the tape. That gives me an extra 10-15 seconds to do some adjustments if I need to. I know that my hairline is going to go right here, so that's what I'm aiming for. I also leave just the very two tip, <clears throat> uh, two front pieces of tape attached the backing, so I have something to hold on to and adjust while I'm just, while I'm scooting my hair unit around. I'll show that to you now. This is what I'm talking about. I leave these two pieces on, just only while I'm putting on the unit itself. Um, once I get it in place, I take those pieces off, and then I do the front attachment with uh, water-based adhesive. Alright, so at this point you can see that I've taken off my last two white tabs of tape. So I'm just going to flop my hair down and push it down for, I don't know, 20-30 seconds to make sure everything is sealed tight. Then I'll lift the front up, I will put on some water-based glue, I'll show you that in a minute, and I'll be done. Alright, so tape is down, now I'm ready to do the top, or I guess the front. I forgot, I also use a hair band. Uh, because when I do take or when I do glue this, I don't want to get any of these hairs in the glue. So the hairband really helps uh, by holding things back. So I'm gonna put this hairband in. I'm gonna put some uh, glue on, let it dry until it's crystal clear. Probably do a second coat. Sometimes I do up to three. I think the more coats you put on, the better it holds on to your scalp. Um, that's just what I do. All right, so this is my first set, uh, or first layer of glue, actually. You can see how it's white. Um, again, you need to let this water-based glue, any water-based glue that you use, absolutely dry crystal clear. If you don't, and I've learned for the hard way, if you don't, you put on your poly system, um, you lay it into the white glue, that white glue takes a long, very, very long time to, I guess, cure or solidify and you can see the white through the skin base. So it's very important to let it dry. I will sit under a fan for a few minutes, do a second layer, let it dry again, do a third layer, and then I'll be good. So I forgot to tell you one, one key thing for me. Um, so I've been using water-based products for a real long time. I got this from Hair Direct. Uh, it's made here in Kansas City where I live. Who knows where the heck that laboratory is, but um, anyway, again, it gives it gives really good directions. It tells me that I should have used a pre-bond sealer. Never have done that. I don't have excessive oily skin. It says that you can use this uh, adhesive for lace, poly. I've used it for both. I've had excellent results for it. Um, it also says uh, do not use if you're allergic to latex. And uh, again, it says let dry. Important to let dry until crystal clear. So definitely read the instructions. For me though, the main thing that I love about this uh, product is it comes in a dauber bottle. So I don't use a paintbrush. I used to use my finger when I would put on the water-based glue. Now I use that dauber and I connect it directly, uh, you know, I rub it right on the polythin skin. Um, it is my paintbrush. It doesn't clog up. It works every single time. It puts just the right amount of product that I need on my poly system or scalp and I love it. All right, everything is on. It's time to comb my hair. The thing I love about the poly system is the front hairline is just, I mean, it really is amazing. Um, it looks like it's coming right straight from your scalp. I've, I, have, I keep my hair up usually, you'll see in a minute for my final uh, picture, but I, I love it. So now I'm gonna wet it down, style it up, and uh, be ready to, I don't know, quarantine warn my house. And here's the after look. I think it looks great. I think the cut that Lord Hair did is perfect. Um, normally the cut costs 20 bucks and I would definitely uh, get it again. So I just use a pomade in my hair and there you go. I just took six years off my life right there. Now I look so much younger, right?